Here are two Home Assistant configuration.yaml files that do the same thing. The one on the left has all the sensors, customizations, etc. in one YAML file. The one on the right uses includes to put each section in its own YAML file. As a result, the one on the left is 160 lines, while the one on the right is only 60. This video will show you how to make your configuration more manageable using includes. Hi, it's Ron. Use the timestamps down below to skip ahead in the video. I'll fast forward through parts to save you time, but if you want a longer look, feel free to pause the video. I'll start by showing how to split up your configuration.yaml file into other .yaml files within the same folder, then how to place those other .yaml files into subfolders. I'll end with how to merge an entire folder of YAML files as a single include. For example, it would combine every YAML file within a folder called Automations. We'll start with the basics. Let's get into Home Assistant. This is a configuration of Home Assistant with a couple devices and an alarm clock I made in a prior video. I expect to add a lot of groups, so I want to move this section to its own YAML file. I'll copy the configuration file and rename the copy groups. I'll open up the new YAML file and remove everything that doesn't have to do with groups and the section heading and then save it. I'll go back to the configuration file and remove the code that's in the new file. Now I just type exclamation point include and the name of the new file. I can save and then restart Home Assistant. As you can see, the group code that created the alarm clock card is still there. If you did this for every section in the configuration file, for example, the sensor section, input slider section, input boolean, etc., there would be a lot of YAML files in the main Home Assistant folder. Fortunately, it's easy to manage subfolders. Let's create a new subfolder and call it include and drag the group's YAML into it. Now we just need to add the folder name in the configuration file before groups.yaml. If we save it and restart Home Assistant, we can see that the alarm clock card is still there. When your configuration gets very complex, it can be helpful to further split your YAML files. In this config, our sensor heading has a list of three different platforms. First, I'll create a sensor folder. Then I'll create two YAML files, one for the weather sensor, which is this first platform, and second for the alarm clock related sensors, which are these second two. I'll create a new text document name it weather.yaml and then copy in the code. Add comments so you can figure out what this is later. I'll create another YAML file for the alarm clock sensors. Then I'll go back to the configuration file. After the sensor heading, I type exclamation point include underscore dir underscore merge underscore list and then type the name of the folder which is sensor. I then save and restart Home Assistant. As you can see all the different sensors including the weather sensor and the alarm clock sensors loaded fine. One thing to note, the code I just showed you works well for merging YAML files that are a list. That is code that begins with a dash. But if you're merging YAML files that contain a dictionary rather than a list so you don't start with that dash then you'll want to use the word named rather than list in the include code as I show over here. For example, you'll have to do this for the customized section of your configuration file. Here's a summary of the includes I talked about and that I use in my own personal configuration. The left hand side lists where the includes are located. The center has a visual representation of the structure. The right side has the code that you need. Change the blue text to your own file and folder names. Take a look at the links down below in the description for more details on how to customize your configuration. Thank you for watching.